Hello, beautiful friends and book lovers, and welcome to my channel, Heather's Book Review. If you are new here, my name is Heather, and I normally uh, read and review thrillers. I love thrillers, I love suspense novels, I love dramatic thrillers, psychological thrillers, and occasionally I will read the super hyped up fiction novel. So today I am going to talk about the six books that I read in the month of June 2020, along with the one Amazon Audible book that I listened to. So I am going to mention these books in the order um, from least to greatest in terms of how much I enjoyed the book. So yes, I am saving the best for last. Um, so that will be for the tangible books. But before I get into that, I do want to talk about the Audible book that I listened to. So my one Amazon Audible listen for the month of June was The Last Mrs. Parrish. Um, I just filmed a review for this, but this video is probably going to go up before the review. I did enjoy this book. I was seeing it all over Instagram, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just at Heather's Book Review. Um, but it wasn't a fave. However, I did enjoy listening to it and I appreciated the twists at the end. Okay, so now chatting about um, the first tangible book that I read in the month of June. It was Pretty Things, a novel by Janelle Brown. I saw this all over Instagram as well, and it really was an impulse buy because I absolutely love the cover. I did film a review for Pretty Things as well, which contains my non-spoiler review and tells you all about the book, which I will link up here for you. But I just found pretty much every single character in this book to be annoying and I just couldn't relate to any of them and the entire time I was just reading it like is anyone gonna make like a decent decision in this book. The next book that I read in the month of June was The New Husband, a novel by DJ Palmer. I would categorize this as a psychological thriller um, along with maybe just like a suspense thriller as well. I did really enjoy this and I've also reviewed this one, which I will link up here and put in the description below. This is about a single mom and her two kids and she introduces a new spouse, so to say, into the family and some crazy stuff starts happening and it's definitely a nail biter. My third book for the month of June is The Lion's Den, written by Catherine St. John. I did receive this from Grand Central Publishing. Um, I was eyeing this and I asked them if they could send me a review or a book and they said yes. And I'm so grateful that they did because I really enjoyed this book. Again, I will link my review, my non-spoiler review up here and in the description box below. But this is pretty much the perfect summer read. A very short synopsis for you. It is a bunch of 20-somethings that get the opportunity to go on a billionaire's yacht and cruise all around the Mediterranean, but then some really weird, mysterious, crazy things start happening. And you're wondering if it really is a nice summer vacation or if it's more of a prison. The fourth book that I read in the month of June, which I absolutely loved and is probably or arguably the best writing that I've experienced so far in 2020 is Long Bright River by Liz Moore. This is not my typical book. Um, I've read and reviewed this one as well. It is a hyped up, <clears throat> sorry, it is a hyped up, um, I would say, like suspenseful drama um, and it deals with some pretty heavy topics that are prevalent in today's society such as drug use and drug addiction. Um, it is amazing though. It is a book that definitely pulls at your heartstrings but still keeps you guessing and it has unreal character development and I really would recommend this to anyone. It is so fantastic. All right, so getting down to my two favorite books in the month of June. <sighs> These were definitely like, they're like neck and neck for my favorite books of June. Um, Verity by Colleen Hoover. I saw this when I returned to booktube. If you're new to my channel, I started booktube in 2012 and I just started filming again um, back in January or February 
of this year. But anyways, when I returned to booktube, I was seeing Verity everywhere. It, it made so many people's like top books of the year because I believe this is a copyright 2018. Yes. Um, so this was over a lot of people's um, videos for 2019 favorite books. And oh my goodness, I have not read a book as quickly as I have read Verity. Um, I read this book in 24 hours, which is like crazy quick for me. Um, I did film a review on this. It just will not be published before this video. Um, but I will put it in the description below once it is live in case you're watching this a little after I've posted and care to see my thoughts on it. But this is probably the darkest book I've ever read in my life. It is a psychological thriller for sure and a nail biter and just all things thriller. And last but not least, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I have already reviewed this book and I was so, so, so excited for this. I have never caved and purchased book of the month before. I It's always been something that I've eyed, but I just already have so many subscriptions, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate to. And I was like, you know what, Heather? No, like you don't need another subscription. Well, little did I know I was going to be purchasing it, which I'm still happy with my choice because I got this early release. But you guys, this is a mystery thriller and I would even classify it as like a horror too because it is centered in like a haunted house, which is the absolute perfect setting for me. I love stories like that, um, but this lived up to the hype. Um, it did not disappoint and it was definitely my favorite book of June. So those were all seven books that I read and then the one that I listened to in the month of June. Thank you so much for watching and please leave in the comments below what you read in June, read any of these books or you want to read some of these books or your thoughts on these books. Just let me know because my favorite thing is chatting with you guys in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button before you leave and that post notification bell so you are notified every time I post a review. Thank you so much for watching friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!